going to demonstrate making a Prince Rupert's drop. I've got some Pyrex rod here, about a quarter inch diameter, heating it with a map gas flame. You can see the shadow of this helps uh, show a little what's going on. As the flame uh, heats the glass, you get uh, this ion, uh, ion trail around it, and it makes it hard to see uh, right here on the video. But in the shadow, the flame does not appear. Marvelous effect. And you see the molten glass. So it becomes kind of like honey and drips off here. I tried this with a larger rod and had less success. I don't think I have quite enough heat from a single map gas torch. So it just drips right off there, falls into the water. That one actually did not work. So we'll try another one here. They cool very quickly in the water, but they can uh, self-destruct, and they can be a little bit fragile. I don't know what went wrong with the first one. It may be that it wasn't heated uniformly enough. It may be there was some uh, contamination on there, which, which caused a fault in the, uh, the end of that piece. Pulling out by the long glass fiber, that one had nothing on it. And here's a successful Prince Rupert's drop. Much of this long tail did not cool very quickly, and it's thin enough that it uh, cools without any strain, and it breaks pretty easily. So I can break it off in a couple of pieces here where it's pretty thin. Where the glass is strained, it will start a crack which propagates through the whole thing, and the entire thing quickly self-destructs.